Hey, welcome to another episode of Korean Lesson with K-pop Music. Today we have Dynamite by BTS. So the first expression we are going to learn is Dynanan. I'm just kidding. Here we go. There. King Kong kicked the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. So forget about the King Kong kicking the drum part. We're just going to look at like a rolling stone. Just in this song alone, there is a multiple use of metaphor and we use metaphors in our conversation quite often, right? So let's learn this expression. So when we say something is like something, that like in Korean is blah blah charam. And we put it after a noun to say like something. So like a rolling stone in Korean is 구르는 돌처럼 Let me just break that down for you. 돌 is a noun, a stone. And 구르는 is an adjective, a rolling. So if we add them together, it becomes 구르는 돌처럼 Like a rolling stone. What was another example in the song? Sweet as honey, right? Same as sweet like honey. So now we know the rule. What's honey in Korean? Gul. And if we want to say like honey, then we say gul charong. And what's sweet in Korean? Tan. That's easy. Then like sweet honey in Korean is tan gul charong. I think you got it. Try to make these sentences and write them in comment. Like a small bird. Like dynamite. Let's look at the next expression. I'm a diamond. Life is dynamite. They have the same sentence structure, subject and predicate. If you watched my video where I explained ida, to be, this should be easy. A predicate gives an information about the subject, right? So the subject in these sentences are I and life. And the predicates are am a diamond and is dynamite. So how do we say I'm a diamond in Korean, in polite form? The subject I is 저는 and the noun diamond is 다이아몬드 Verb for to be in Korean is 이다 regardless the pronoun but 이다 is still a base form so it needs to be conjugated to 이에요 So now you can figure out how to say life is dynamite in Korean in 존댓말 and 반말 and write them in comment Are you ready for the next expression? How would you answer I'm ready or I'm good to go? So I'm ready or I'm good to go in Korean is 준비됐어. And actually, if you want to say are you ready, we use the same phrase. How is that possible? It's because in Korean, the subject can be often omitted. However, there is a difference in tone. So in a question form, you raise the last word. 준비됐어? And in an answering form, you lower the last word. 준비됐어. Right? 준비됐어? 준비됐어. So what do you say when someone says, I'm good to go? You say, let's go. And let's go in Korean is, 가자. Easy. 가자. So how do you say this expression in informal polite style? You say, 준비됐어요? And 준비됐어요. 가요. Right? 준비됐어요? 준비됐어요. Kaya. That's it for today's lesson. If you want to see more of this kind of breakdown lesson in the future, please write in comment and let me know. And of course, like this video, share it with your friend, subscribe, and click that bell button. See you in the next video. Bye.